So your jaw hurts, and you also have other painful problems there, CMD for example. There are so many things associated with your jaw, including grinding your teeth. Today we're going to give you our complete package with all our self-help techniques to help you with your jaw. I'm Roland Liebscher-Bracht, and I'm going to show you what this is all about. This is your jaw, lower and upper jaw, this is the joint, and this movement here is what you know from chewing food. Opening up your mouth, biting down on something, this alone gives us a lot of relevant information. Because in our daily lives, we don't need to open our mouths wide enough. That means everything is chopped into small pieces, we don't have to open our mouth wide anymore. Dentists complain about patients who simply cannot keep their mouths wide open for a longer period of time. Why? When your jaw is not used to being wide open, then the muscles respond accordingly. The neighboring muscles and fascia become tighter and less flexible, and it becomes harder to keep your mouth open. Then there's the emotional factor. You're supposed to stay strong and bite the bullet in your job, your family, with all the situations where you have to clench your teeth to bear it. And all this ends up as tension in the muscles and fascia. And if we resolve that situation, the problem is dealt with to 90%. Renee's with us. Hello. And he's going to do the exercise following my instructions. Watch it closely and then do the exercise yourself and you'll see what can happen. The main exercise is very simple. If you don't open your mouth wide enough, often enough, then the right exercise is to open your mouth wide enough. I have a pretty big mouth. Well, we'll find out about that shortly. Spread your thumb away from your index finger and put your chin into this little cradle. Then pull your jaw down. If you want to, you could put your other hand on your forehead to hold your head. And now just pull your mouth open and adjust it so that any pain that occurs in doing this is just bearable. And then you'll notice that the longer you keep your mouth open in this position, the more the pain subsides, and then you can open it up even more. Tilt your head back a little so that no saliva drools out. Or do it in the shower or over the wash basin the sink, and when you brush your teeth in the morning, simply open your mouth more and more. Not too painful, Renee, but enough so you could feel something's happening, and you could still take the pain. Hold still for a second. Now I've got something in my pocket, most of the time at least. Look at this, it's a small gadget. You might also take the cork of a wine bottle, but cut it down to the right size. What Renee is doing, and I'm doing as well, by simply placing our jaw hero, that's its name, here between my teeth, and this tool is adjustable. Information on it can be found up there. And now you have this cork here, which is comfortable for your teeth, and you could adjust it in two millimeter increments to do the exercise. Sometimes I use it when I'm driving. It looks kind of weird to people. When I stop at a traffic light, they're wondering what I'm doing. Who cares? And when you could save time doing this exercise while also doing something else at the same time, go for it. What do you think, Renee? I need a break. Okay, then relax. That was about two minutes anyway. And that's about the amount of time you should be investing into this exercise. The next exercise is similar. You open your mouth slightly and place the lengths of your right index finger on the left lower edge of your jaw. The opposite way, we're going to work on both sides anyways. Now, pull your joints sideways. And as soon as you notice your head is yielding, hold it steady by using your right hand. And now the exercise is about pulling your jaw more and more to the right. Increase the effort over two, two and a half minutes. And at a level of stretching pain that's still manageable for you, looks good. Yes. Now the opposite side in reverse. This, this thing with the head is more comfortable. Then you can support it. Right. You don't have to actively hold your head in place in two directions. And now you can stop, Renee. Take both hands, open your mouth slightly, and push your jaw backwards. Take it in your hand and push it backwards. 
So basically, into my face? Right, into your face. But it should be comfortable. That's right, open it just a bit. But not too much, just a bit, it varies. You might change the angles a bit, since that works on and stretches different muscles that need stretching for you to feel better. After two, two and a half minutes, you're done. And now you can do the following. Grab your jaw like this, under your chin, above your lower teeth. Doesn't this look twisted? Pull your jaw forward. To the front, right? Grab it, carefully, pull, easy does it, forward. But your head doesn't move. Because if it moves, you don't stretch your jaw, but your neck. For the fascia rolling massage of your jaw, you could use our mini massage ball, or a ball of similar size, maybe a dog's toy or a children's toy, and apply it like this. Take it in your hand, Renee, and place it. Please turn your head a bit for the camera. Let me show you. Place it on the lower edge of your jaw and press relatively forcefully and start rolling lightly. Let me show you first. This entire area here, up to your cheekbone, below your cheekbone, this entire area, try to feel okay, it. But you do it also in circles, right? Small spirals to reach all the tension points of your chewing muscles and resolve the tension there, resolve the trigger points, and so forth. Ah, here's where it starts to get tricky. And whenever you reach a sensitive spot, stay on it, roll on it, applying more pressure, but make sure that the pain is still bearable. And then you do it on the other side, and after that, your entire face will feel quite different. You can find info on our massage roller set up there. And now we're going to show you where you can press yourself. It's a similar location here in this area, where it's the most sensitive. Feel for it, where it's very tender. Can I break anything if I press there, even if I have a mouth guard or braces? Not at all. There's your gum, your jaw, there's bone, your cheek, muscles, and whatever doesn't want to be pressed on responds with pain. And pain that is bearable can do you no harm. And in case you have a retainer or braces or anything where metal sticks out, you would probably stop pressing anyways. You don't want to break your retainer. Okay. You remember the sensitive spot? You know where it hurts. Yes, right Place there. the tool on it, and this is different to the fascia rolling massage. You stay on it. How long? Until the pain is dialed down, and then you increase the pressure again, and it's dialed down again. And you do that for two, two and a half minutes until you're done. By then, it's dialed down enough. Always work on both sides, because if you only relax one side and not the other, that would feel strange. And especially afterwards, if you're eating or chewing something, that might get problematic. Information on the pressure tool set, if you don't want to use a wine cork, is available up there. And other than that, well, Renee, how are you yes, doing? Yes, I started to press a little harder again because you said if the pain gets less, I can press a little harder. Well, take your time and enjoy it. I'm ready. How do you feel? Tension-free. Exactly what I expected. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.